My character in this movie is um, Nati, mm -hmm. and she's a uh, well, she's a woman who's gonna be married very soon with um, Santiago. And suddenly he tells her that he doesn't love her anymore and she finds out that he just came out of the closet. So she starts getting a little bit um, crazy about the situation. <laughs> um, maybe uh, too crazy. <laughs> and she starts like doing really, um, weird stuff uh, and she starts like um, medicating herself a little bit too much so you can see like uh, the feminine craziness like hugely so she's a very a little bit I, I would say that she's a little bit homophobic I would say that she's um, a little bit well maybe too um, selfish very very selfish because she does I don't think she really loves Santiago but that she's more into the fact of getting married than in that really in love so that's it it's like a little bit of a crazy woman <laughs> do you know anybody that resembles her of that course. you draw yeah inspiration and you know what from? <laughs> of course there's so many people like her and 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 this is very funny because i i read like um a lot of um people in social networks that say i love her she's very funny and other people there were like oh my god she's so exaggerated and i was like well i can say <laughs> that i <laughs> Um, how do you say, like, I did it thinking of someone else that I already know, and that person, it's way worse. Way so, worse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, of course, there are a lot of women like her, and even worse. So oh. when I was, like, when I was reading those comments that she's a little bit exaggerated, that it's not very real, and I was like, I don't think so. And especially if you're like a little bit drunk or a little bit like in a drama moment or a little, or if you just break up with your boyfriend or if you, uh, I don't know, if you have a nervous breakdown, all women, a lot of women are like that. I've done that, you know? I was going to ask you <laughs> yeah. that. Do you have any situation? I mean, not anymore because I, I, I went to therapy. <laughs> but maybe before that, I used to do those kind of things. And it's not too much. I think that's human reality. Right. When it's like in a nervous breakdown. Yeah, it could yeah. get carried away without exactly. even noticing. Um, do you have any experience of like machismo that you're like, okay, this is the reason why I'm anti-machismo? Um, or like a situation you've seen or? Um, I don't know. I mean, there's, there's a lot of things. Um, I was very lucky that I was born in a family that is not very machista. <laughs> um, so, so in my family, they would teach us that women and men do the same things. But, but yeah, I mean, I've seen a lot of machista um, behavior in my country a lot. Like, they're all the time being like, I've seen like how girls are educated. Like, you have to cook and the, and the man doesn't have to and you have to like organize everything at the house and the man has, shouldn't do anything things like that right so of course I'm against that especially because I hate to be organized and I don't really like to cook <laughs> all the time <laughs> so no, if they do that it's that. much better <laughs> Mauricio loves to cook Mauricio loves oh. to pick up everything at the house he loves to wash the dishes so yeah <laughs> that's much better <laughs>